Environmental risks are one of the five key challenges facing the world today, according to the Global Risk Report 2017. Many of them are closely interconnected with other major risks. Global businesses and governments have a strong interest in developing greater resilience against them. So how does an environmental event in one part of the world lead to disruption in another? Nick Warkis explains. Let's take Thailand as an example. The country is the world's largest producer of rubber, accounting for 40% of global output. In January 2017, floods struck rubber farms, stopping production and creating a global shortfall. As demand outstrips supply, the global price of rubber hit a four-year high. So what can businesses do to make their value chain network more resilient? One, need to know where their value is in the supply chain. Two, understand how their value chain is exposed to flood risk in that location. Three, one must determine their resilience. From financial to social, each community can enhance their resilience to flooding by following the Flood Resilience Alliance's five C's and four R's. This framework allows resilience to be defined and measured, helping to achieve sustainable and positive change. For businesses in Thailand, this meant many improved their infrastructure by increasing flood defences. Environmental risks not only impact the business world, but also our lives. Water scarcity due to climate change could cost some regions up to 6% of their GDP. Lack of water can also lead to conflict and migration. In the Western Sahel, water scarcity has led pastoralists to migrate to new areas. But with a lack of resources, these nomadic herders are now coming into conflict with farmers. For businesses, this finite resource is a risk to both operations and supply chains. Take the semiconductor industry. To make one computer chip requires around 40 litres of water. The top three manufacturers of chips are in California, China and Taiwan, with factories situated in drought regions. For corporates to mitigate the risk of water shortages, they need to work with governments to build resilience and avoid the worst impact of water stress. To prepare for, and wherever possible prevent future risks, businesses must assess, explore, implement, appoint, identify and collaborate. Business, governments and societies need to work together to untangle the interconnectedness of environmental risks by implementing strategies that promote resilience and mitigating risks in ways that will lead to positive change.